I said it last week that um, it was imperative that he won this fight, man. Mm -hmm. To me, it doesn't matter how. how honestly, uh, we did want the yeah. the knockout, obviously, but I mean, if I'm him and I I know there's hundreds of millions of dollars on the table, yeah. I'm getting that W no matter what. I don't yeah. care if I have to go 12 rounds, jab him to death. He ended up getting the knockout, so it's all good. Yeah. And immediately after the fight, we heard talks of you know, Bob Arum and Tyson Fury coming out and saying they want the fight mm -hmm. next. So, yeah. hey, yeah, no, you're right. It's all good. First things first, get the W. But come on, at this level, you know, to get to garner more excitement for you know that obviously the man that he Lock wants to fight. Excitement, man. <laughs> to garner he was that heavyweight boxing right here. Yeah, no, like first things first, get get the job done. He did. Man, we're breaking down this Anthony Joshua return to the ring. And man, hopefully we get that Tyson Fury fight, man. Yeah. Uh, we kind of expected Joshua to go out there and get a KO, mm -hmm. or at least try. Right? He did yeah. that, so it, it was it was cool. Um, and now we're all hoping that the 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 fight happens, right? The one that the whole world wants to see. And yeah. here on your screen, you have the uh, Bob Arum tweet. He was quick to tweet about it, saying this is the biggest heavyweight fight since Ali and Frazier. Um, Eddie Hearn kind of echoed what Anthony Joshua said in the post-fight interview. It, uh, Joshua looked like kind of like Errol Spence, like kind of fed up, like. Let's talk more action, you know. Yeah. I mean, if, if we're not going to fight, you know, why keep calling the same man out? And I believe this fight is a lot closer to, to happening than Crawford and Spence. But, uh, yeah, Joshua, you know, e either or either way, he's going to be good. Yeah. But, of course, that, that Tyson Fury fight is a, is a legacy fight. I know a lot of people went on social media, you're like, oh, Joshua doesn't, you know, he doesn't seem like he wants it as much. And Eddie Hearn was kind of like, no, it's time for me to do the, the work. You know, he didn't expect Joshua to do much He's of the an talking. alpha male, man. He don't got to be calling out <laughs> another man every single time. I hate that shit. Mm. It's annoying. We kind of touched on it last week uh, with mm. Sean, right? Like, yeah. man, just fight. Why well, keep yeah. talking about it? You know, they've called each other out like a hundred times. Yeah. You know, if, if he doesn't do that a hundred one time, like, don't hold it against him. He's asking, is AJ versus Fury only big in the UK? Nah, man, I think right now this is probably the biggest fight in the world, right? I can't think of any other big fights. I think it, it probably even garners more attention than a Canelo Triple G3, honestly. I think so. It's um, a little more competitive at this point. Fury too slick versus AJ. Fury should. Fury schools him. Mm, I don't know about schooling, man. Um, but yeah, I, I think... I, I have said that I have it 50-50, but I'm favoring Tyson Fury a little Slightly. more now. Yeah. yeah. Um, the way he was able to knock out Wilder and dominate him twice. <laughs> twice. Um, you know, that was pretty big. And, and Joshua still doesn't seem very confident, man. But I don't mind it because, hey, you got to get that, that big fight, man. That probably going to make 200 million bucks after those two fights if they do happen. And I'm guessing they might want to do one, obviously, in Wembley and then probably one here in Vegas. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Bob and ESPN and Top Rank want some of that action yeah. here in the U.S. So that would be pretty cool, man. Two fights between them. Supposedly, that's what they had agreed upon. Mm -hmm. But ongoing negotiations and all that. And more than anything, I think Joshua, I think either way, a uh, fight between him and Fury is a huge fight. No matter if he would have lost the last fight. Yeah. But, man, he wants to get that bag, you know. Yeah. Keep it at 50-50 or more. Yeah. You know, uh, in my opinion, Joshua probably deserves more than than 50% because of his following. But at the same time, Tyson Fury has leverage of being, uh, in the eyes of most people, the heavyweight champion, right? He's a lineal champion. He never lost his mm -hmm. titles. Uh, all that. But, hey, man, 50-50, make two fights happen. I'm happy with that.